Hey guys, uh, I'm waiting to hit a dock here, so I'll make this quick. Uh, I was going to make a video to this weekend. I got a couple plans about evangelism and spiritual growth, but uh, some stunning developments that uh, I really want to address. So uh, a couple years back, Pope Francis said, you know, when um, ISIS kills Christians in the Middle East, they don't go up to them and say, oh, are you a Catholic Christian or a Protestant Christian? All they want to know is this guy a Christian and then they chop their heads off if the candidate of the dark winter the doom and gloom candidate prevails and steals this election Protestant and Catholics need to watch each other's back we got to have each other's backs because when the apostate Joe Biden says you need to close your church He's not going to ask you if it's a Protestant church or a Catholic church. He's going to say, close your church. When the apostate Joe Biden says calling homosexuality is a sin, is hate speech, and he'll punish those churches who use hate speech, either by taking away their tax exemption or shutting them down, he's not going to care if it's a Catholic church or a Protestant church. And I say this because I have a lot of Christians still telling me that although they know the Democrats are baby killers, they don't think they would cheat in an election. They think that it's some kind of great conspiracy theory. And I'm not the kind of guy that falls for conspiracy theories. I usually never get caught off in conspiracy theories or anything that smells like a conspiracy theory. But I'm seeing facts and evidence, and I'm going to present a few of them to you right now, and then I'm going to give you some hope at the end, as long as this guy don't pull off the dock. <laughs> so, um, Sidney Powell, if anyone else had said this, I probably wouldn't have even looked at it. I would have probably said, nah, that's too far-fetched. Even I can't believe that. But Sidney Powell is the most respected attorney in Washington. If you're not familiar with Sidney Powell, she was the attorney that represented Ted Stevens. Ted Stevens was a Republican senator in a race that was guaranteed his win and it would give the Republicans or the Republicans would keep the majority uh, of the Senate. This is going back, I don't know, 15 years maybe. I don't, I don't remember the exact time frame. But anyway, Ted Stevens was a guaranteed lock. He was a senator from Alaska, guaranteed to win. And then, like, a few weeks before the election, the FBI charged him with corruption, arrested him, uh, and uh, convicted him. And so, of course, his challenger won by a slim margin, but he still won. Well, when he appealed it, he hired Sidney Powell, and she presented evidence to the judge. The judge was appalled. And it's a liberal judge. It's actually Sullivan, the, the liberal judge who uh, ruled against uh, Major, uh, General Flynn. So it wasn't some conservative judge. It was a, you know, a Democrat uh, appointed judge. And he said what the leader of the FBI, the pro lead prosecutor, and his team did was so egregious, was horrible. They say, he, said they practic he said they framed, they lied, cheated, hid evidence, and framed the senator. But the deep state still won because he didn't get... Uh, he, he didn't become innocent. He, he didn't get proclaimed innocent until the Democrats already took over the Senate. So they got their job done. They got the Senate done. And you would think that this lead prosecutor and his team would have lost their jobs. But no, they're still around. In fact, it's the lead prosecutor and the team that Robert Mueller hired to investigate Trump's Russian collusion. And even with this team, this dishonest team, two years and $40 million, they couldn't find any Russian collusion. So these guys will do anything for power. So this is who Sidney Powell is. She's not going to put her name out for some wackadoodle theory. She was on Lou Dobbs and said she has evidence. She has in her possession evidence of 450,000 ballots with one name on them, Joe Biden. Now, I mean, no down ballot names. They didn't vote for nobody else but Joe Biden. And you can say, well, some people just vote for president. Okay, but out of 450,000, all in swing states, no one just voted for Donald Trump? This is mathematically impossible. 
Then she also said they have evidence. And uh, I'm at work now, but when I get a chance, I'm going to put the links up. And if someone's watching this and has the link, put it up, please. Uh, they have evidence of vote changing. Literally, where you see, you're looking at the vote and say Trump has 90,000. Uh, immediately, it goes down to 70,000. And Biden's at 50,000. And immediately, that goes up to 70,000. It's an obvious switch of votes. And these states like Michigan... In Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, they're admitting to it. They're just saying it's a glitch. And, but there's a lot of glitches. And every glitch goes in one wet, one favor. Biden's favor. Come on. So I've seen a, a, another video. And again, I'm going to try and get all this linked up. But if someone has seen it, please put the link in the comments. Of a, a former military officer of military intelligence. And they showed him the glitch. And he said, yeah, that's the uh, our super military supercomputer. The Hammer uh, supercomputer. And the um, scorecard software, we use it to flip elections in third world countries. Obviously, they're using it to flip the election here. This is startling. So even if, and you would say, well, why would the military? I thought the military loves Trump. The, the, the guys that are fighting the wars love him because he's not putting us any war. But the military industrial complex hates Trump. These generals who Ozzy Osbourne used to call war pigs, they hate Trump. Just think about it. In four years, he didn't put us in any new wars. He didn't, he's the only president in the last 20 years that did not send more troops to the Middle East. He's pulling them all out. And every time he pulls them out, he gets flacked by these generals. These retired generals, they hate him. The generals hate Trump. He's hurting their pocketbook. I mean, think about it. We haven't had a peace deal in the Middle East for 50 years. Trump has gotten three signed and several more in the works. You know, they thought we were going to be in a war with South Korea. We're at peace with South Korea. Or, I'm sorry, uh, North Korea, rather. So... These guys cheat. They'll do anything for power. Remember, they kill babies. They will steal an election. But the good news is, the good news is, real clear politics just rescinded their call of Pennsylvania. And they're no longer calling today. Real clear politics just rescinded uh, their call of Pennsylvania. And they um, are no longer calling Biden president-elect. So uh, stay tuned and be prepared because... Uh, these useful idiots, and I don't mean that in like, you know, being nasty. Useful idiots is what Stalin would call people that would vote, you know, that would uh, favor communism, but they didn't know that he was just using them. Well, these useful idiots, in that respect, dancing in the streets, are going to start burning down these streets and looting them once this election shows that President Trump is still the president. So be prepared. You know, I feel bad for you guys that live in these Democrat-run states because they don't allow you to have guns. And uh, they tell their police to stand down. It's like they want to hurt you. So I would recommend if you live in New Jersey, New York, come to Florida. It's easy to get a carry permit. You know, all my daughter in laws just went down. It's like a two-hour class. And they give you, you know, give you a permit. You can carry a gun right on your waistband. So if any of these uh, left-wing radicals that love violence come after you, you can defend yourself. You know, and it's so funny. And you t tell your liberal friends this. It's so funny. The media always portrays Trump supporters as these violent hate hate groups and you got 71 millions really mad republicans that feel we got stolen and mistreated not one riot imagine if the shoe was on the other foot cities would be burning to the ground and these democrat mayors would say let these let these people vent their anger so there's good news i think uh i think it's looking good for us but you know we got a fighter, and we need to back him up. We need to keep cheering him on. It reminds me of a UFC fight I seen years ago. Henzo Gracie got his arm snapped, got in an arm bar. And uh, if you have a squeamish stomach, don't look it up. But uh, anybody else you want to check it out, Henzo Gracie gets his arm snapped. His elbow pops out like a compound fracture. It's the nastiest thing you want to see. And he doesn't tap out. And when the referee stops it, he's like, why are you stopping it? I can still fight. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> it's a little bruise. And that's who we got in there. He's not going to tap out. So don't you tap out. Trump will not tap. Trust me. But we just got to pray and fast that the referees don't call this fight for Biden. And the referees are the courts. We have to pray the, the courts have integrity and honesty and uphold the rule of law. If they do that, if the courts follow the Constitution, President Trump will serve another four years. And this country will become greater than ever. So God bless, stay strong, and stay Catholic.